Okay guys, just setting up the uh, RO for the first time this season. Uh, it was obviously cleaned out completely last season. I haven't made a video of doing that yet, um, but I'll make it maybe at the end of this season. So that video will be up in you know, a month or so, a couple months. Um, so this is the RO membrane. I have another video on how this thing works, so maybe check that out first, but that's the RO membrane there. It's a 4040, I believe, uh, just standard RO membrane. And it's been stored over the summer, fall and winter in a uh, sodium metabisulfate solution, which uh, I will get into in the cleaning video that I'm going to make. And so that just preserves the filter. And I just have this piece of four inch PVC that I store it in with a end cap and a screw cap or a clean out cap. Get a wrench for that. So there's the liquid solution. It's nice and clean as you can see. And what the met sodium metabisulfate does is just keep any bacteria from uh, growing over the year. And so this whole system was totally uh, flushed out, cleaned out. Um, so it should be totally dry other than I've got it hooked to uh, clean water right now. So this is filled up with water, clean water. It's got a fresh filter in it. And uh, we're gonna put the new, the used membrane, cleaned used membrane into here. We're gonna flush the system with about 50 to 100 gallons of clean water. And when I say clean water, ideally you'd wanna use RO water, um, but obviously I don't have any of that right now because we haven't even processed a batch of, of uh, sap yet. But um, I'm using well water from my house. Uh, it's gone through a water softener, a house filter, and also a UV filter. So it's fairly clean. Uh, water, shouldn't have any iron in it, anything like that. Basically just try to get the cleanest water you can. So we'll just remove that. And I find the easiest way to grab onto these is just some pliers and grab onto the fin here. Don't grab onto that because that's a sealing surface. Let any of that residual preservative drain out. Then we'll reinstall the cap. Okay, so we're gonna open our gate valve up completely, which it is. Uh, I'm just gonna turn our power on here. And first thing we're gonna do is turn the water on and also we'll use the pump on the unit to make sure we have uh, good pressure through the filter and everything. So we're gonna turn on our pump here, low pressure pump. And you see the pressure building here, about 30 to 40 PSI is normal for this style of pump. And you can see it discharging here. We're just going to let that go to waste. And then right now is a good time to run the high pressure pump as well. And like I said, we're gonna run about 50 to 100 gallons through this. And what I like to do is sometimes there's a little bit of water or trapped uh, cleaner left in this line. So I'm just gonna build the pressure a little bit so we force a little bit of that clean water through the membrane.
and you'll see water start flowing through here as we build pressure. Nothing crazy, we won't go to full operating pressure, we'll just do about 100 PSI for now. Okay, so we'll open our gate valve completely. Shut off our high pressure pump and low pressure pump. Okay guys, so I'm hooked up to my first batch here. Uh, so this is a tank we brought in uh, with sap in it, raw sap. And I've got my hose that comes out. One thing I changed this year from the probably the previous video you saw is I went with this food grade three quarter inch PVC hose uh, that is non-collapsible. So if you can see, it's got a wire in it there. Uh, because what I was finding was happening last year is I was just using this braided line for the suction end and it would actually be collapsing the hose in some sections and I was worried about the pump not getting fed properly so that solves that. Um, so just pick up one of those and it's, it's nice and clear, it's food grade so it's great. So I've got it going in the bottom here, up the top. I changed the filter after I did my wash, so that's a new fresh filter. You're going to want to change this filter after every batch of syrup you do or sap uh, and then out of there you can see we're running about 40 that's what this pump is producing and then we go out and we go into the low or high pressure pump come out of the high pressure pump and into the outside of the membrane and then so the whole outside of the membrane is being pressurized and the easiest path for it to take is out where this valve is However, we've got the gate valve closed to build up to about 200 is what I'm running it at, which is forcing uh, the water through the membrane. So we've got pure water coming out of this tube and going into this tank. This is where I store my clean RO water. And then this line is concentrated sap, which goes back into the top of the tank. And so since this is the first batch, I don't know, I just, I usually take this down to about 50% of what I started with. Um, in the past, I've gone as much as 60% of what I started with. So, uh, yeah, I started here at 11.44 a.m. Uh, I'll get back to you once we're down to 50, the 50% mark. Hey guys, okay, we're back. It's uh, approximately 3 o'clock, 3.02 actually. 
Um, we started at 11.44 a.m. And I've been doing other stuff while this has been running, so it's not like boiling where you have to babysit it. Uh, this little mark here represents exactly 50% of what we started with, so you can see we're just below that. Uh, we started with 869 liters, so this is 434.5 liters. Uh, like I said, you can take it down to 60%, which would be somewhere here, uh, so it is still running. So we'll be between somewhere between 50 and 60% uh, of the water taken out. Um, you can see here, it does foam up a little bit on the top. But that's concentrated sap in this tank. And then you can see that tank was empty. And we've got, uh, well, there it is there. We got just over, or just under 450 liters of pure water. So that's the water we're gonna use to back flush, or we'll flush this system out. I'll put about 50 to 100 gallons of water through this machine and just let it run out onto the ground. Uh, to get it ready for the next batch of sap. Um, but what I do now is I actually hook this hose to the hose that goes down to the sugar shack and that's how we fill up the tank at the sugar shack. So we actually utilize this pumping action to drive this uh, to the tank down there. Um, and while it's doing that, it is actually taking out more and more water getting us closer to that 60%. Okay, so guys, the RO is still running. Uh, however, it's pumping the concentrated sap out of here, goes through the RO, still taking water off uh, into the permeate tank. But instead of it going back to the tank, now it's going down to the sugar house via this line here. And there's a holding tank at the sugar shack just before it goes into the evaporator. And then once that is empty, I take that line off and I put it onto the permeate water, the clean RO water and I run 50 to 100 gallons of it through this and I keep it hooked to this hose and it cleans that line out right to the sugar shack tank. And I obviously take the end out of the sugar shack tank so that this line gets flushed with about 50 to 100 gallons of fresh water. And then I got an air compressor there that I blow it out with uh, so it doesn't freeze overnight. <laughs> 